So today we're going to be making this super simple scrolling marquee text um, that can be driven directly from a table dat. So let's get rid of this and move this out of the way and we'll start from scratch. So first step, add a table, type your phrase. And the note here is to add an extra space. You'll see why. Next is to add a null dot. And now a merge dot. Now the merge dot is going to take this phrase and copy it a bunch of times, as many as we want. So let's say five. Cool, now the next step is, oh, actually we wanna change that setting to append columns so that it makes it a little bit easier when we add a convert dat. We want to convert it to text and we wanna concatenate with nothing. Great, so now we've got our phrase that we want to marquee across formatted. It's long, it's just a simple loop. Now, so we want to grab one text top and we want to set it to, we wanna get rid of the derivative. We want to add our table reference in the dot there, the uh, null four goes in our dot parameter. And we want to, you know, choose, choose a font, choose a size. Cool. So we're gonna copy that text that. And this isn't a resolution that we need. This, this is 256 by 256. This text that is going to give us the information we need in order to format the size of the actual text that we'll be working, uh, text top we'll be working with. So if we grab an info chop and reference text three, you'll see that it gives us text width and text height. Now that is what we put inside the resolution of our secondary text top. So we'll grab that, reference it there, and now you'll see that this text is exactly the size we need, exactly the resolution we need, and it also has the space at the end. So. The next step is simply to transform it along like a marquee. So we'll add a transform top. We will go into the tile setting and make sure it's set on repeat. We'll go into the transform setting and use the basic Python abs time dot seconds. Okay. There's your marquee. Now I want it to go the other way and I want it to go much slower. So we go negative in the front and multiply it by a super small number. Boom. And now what's really cool is we can go back, edit our phrase to a whole new phrase. Make sure the space is at the end and it automatically gets resized to properly loop across. Now, normally we wouldn't want something that changes resolutions uh, depending on where we're putting things. So a nice way to maintain it is to add a fit top at the end 
go into the fit tops parameters, make sure the fit is set to native. So you maintain the size that you had decided here and give it whatever, whatever resolution that you needed to have. So as long as it's smaller than this, and that's why uh, we copied it so many times. And yeah, so that's a super simple marquee scrolling thing. And you can change the text and automatically get it to uh, format for you. Now, the reason that we can't just do, you know, can't just put this over itself is we create a loop, uh, an infinite loop. Cook dependency loop. So that's why we need two text tops and you wanna make sure that you always keep uh, these settings exactly the same. Because you know, if I were to change my font, right? to that's something much different much more different yeah if i was to change my font now you'll see it doesn't match the resolution we need and when you go into the transform because it's transforming this texture uh let's see where is it where is it there right there you get a broken marquee so you always want to make sure that these fonts and font sizes match because that's what calculates the size of the texture that you need. So what did we do here? Arial 66.6. .6. So we'll go into the font of our calculating text here, text three, and it's Arial 66.6. .6. And now you'll see that it's automatically recalculated to the size we need.